Good morning and welcome back on Into North Dakota Today. We are back with our weekly update with Nicole Kringstad for Midwest Millennial. Each week we check in with her here on North Dakota Today to hear about her latest adventures. And today we're talking about Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Well, good morning, Nicole. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. And I know before the show, I had to ask her how to pronounce this, so I didn't mess <laughs> up on air. That is kind of a mouthful. Yes, yes. All right, so give me an overview first. Yeah. How are you feeling coming back? Good. Oh my gosh, I had never been to Sheboygan before. It was absolutely fantastic. Very cute, like beach town. Oh. Um, right on Lake Michigan. Okay. It's a little over an hour south of Green Bay area, but beautiful area. They're the brat capital of the world. So if you like brats, Stop it. great place to go there. I love brats. Well, perfect. That's a, good <laughs> spot. That's a good spot for you. They're also the freshwater surf capital too. So, which you wouldn't expect from somewhere yeah. in Wisconsin or the Midwest in general, um, but they have freshwater surfing and a lot of winter surfing, which I didn't know was a thing, so. Okay, so what is winter surfing? Um, I, I mean, I imagine it's just, you know, regular surfing, but just in the winter in you have, you know, you know nice, <laughs> bodysuit to try and keep you warm so I have not done it so you <laughs> didn't have your go at surfing I did not have my go at surfing. not this time at least right Maybe not this time. time what did you have your go at yeah so so many fun things to do um, when you are in Sheboygan one of my favorite things of course was kayaking I love kayaking so um, the wandering kayaker is a new kayak guide in the area so Hit the water, got to got to do a little bit of that. It was, I think it was Look about five that. miles. It was a beautiful day. I Look mean, at it that was, view. Yeah, 70s, sunny, like just a little bit of clouds. I mean, it was it was beautiful. I couldn't have asked for a better day for that. Yeah. Um, they also have a ton of art museums there. So Ooh. have you heard of Kohler, the brand that's like toilets and different oh, kind of like yeah. you know, bathroom appliances? So um, that's where their headquarters is. Oh. So there's a John Kohler Art Museum. They've got lots of art museums and stuff. I mean, this, really? this company, like, there's stuff from the town everywhere. So the John Kohler Art Museum was a fantastic stop. Lots of things to check out, and it's a totally free museum. And then they have another one called the Art Preserve that's part of that same um, line. And that has just a ton of beautiful displays. This one's got like like oh, skulls and stuff, but so it, looked, cool. it was kind of cool. It was really neat and unique. So yeah. just something different to check out as well in those art museums. And then they have a design center too, so you can walk around and see all the really like fancy bathroom Ooh. fixtures and whatever. So <laughs> um, you can't go wrong with that. It makes you want to just, you know, remodel your entire house at the same of time course. you're there. Who doesn't love that? <laughs> <laughs> Pinterest worthy for sure. Oh yeah. So, um, yes. So let's see what other things were there. I yeah. had something else. But. How was the <laughs> food and drink there? Did yes. you eat anything oh, that was gosh. incredible? Oh my gosh. So many good things to eat and drink while you're in Sheboygan. Yes. Um, so of course, Wisconsin supper clubs are a big thing. Um, have, you, have you been to a Wisconsin? Wait, no, I have you, not. You I haven't okay. even heard of okay. it. Okay. Perfect. So, um, <laughs> Black River Grill was the one that I went to, and so it's it's kind of an experience when mm -hmm. you go to a Wisconsin Supper Club. I had never been before, um, so definitely call and make a reservation beforehand because it okay. was crazy busy when I was there. Um, but it's kind of an experience. You get there, you have a couple drinks at the bar beforehand. It's like a leisurely experience. Don't expect to just like get in and out right away. Oh, okay. Um, so and then you go sit down, have your meal. Like it's nice options. There's usually fish fries and stuff, which is a big thing in gotta Wisconsin. Love fish fries. You gotta love fish fries. <laughs> So lots of that as well. And um, of course, there's a winery, Blind Horse Winery down Ooh. there. I always love checking out the wineries. Yeah, of course. Yes. Did you try any local bottles? I did. So um, the Blueberry Rosé was my favorite. And I actually took a bottle home, which didn't make it all the way home because oh, I stopped no. at a friend's house. Oh, of way. course. Yeah, we, you got to share. <laughs> Um, another great place, because I love loved checking out local coffee shops, was Ebb Flow. And they have what's called a cruffle, a croissant waffle. Stop it. It was so good. I mean, it had lots of different, there were different options for like sweet or savory toppings. Um, so lots of different things to check out and try. Yeah, there. that sounds like the innovation of the century. I know. I know. It was great. I it want was just one like, here. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Harry's Diner was another great um, place to eat. I had breakfast there one day and their breakfast plates were massive. I had this like Brazilian breakfast thing, mm -hmm. definitely two meals. <gasps> oh yeah, this one's from the that supper club with the scallops there, so, so you got good. scallops? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So are they freshwater? Were they right from the water there? That's a great question. 
You gotta I be. I, 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 Come I on, didn't Nicole. Ask. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> and then the pizza there is from Il Retrovo. Um, that place is phenomenal. That very, looks very heavenly. authentic Italian food. Like the owners, like went to Italy, got certified for this. Their um, pizza oven had to be brought from Italy to get the certification. So just like top what? quality Italian food. Everything from the starter that we had that was like um, a warm cheese plate with um, crispy bread Ooh. to the salad that they make like all their cheese and stuff in house. I mean, okay, you gotta stop. You're getting me so hungry right now. <laughs> I can, if the microphone was by my stomach, you would hear it rumbling. <laughs> right? Okay, so it sounds like Sheboygan was a hidden gem. Yes. What would you rate it out of 10 if you were to go back? Oh my gosh, 10 out of 10. I was sitting there and I'm like, you know, if I could spend like a month here, yeah. I probably still wouldn't go to every restaurant and do all the things that there are to do. So, all right. I mean, just so many amazing things to do and check out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to add that place to your bucket list. And Nicole, thank you so much for joining yes, me this morning. Me. We're excited to hear about your next adventure, but stick around. Coming up on today's show, we are talking with AARP in North Dakota.